Hooyah! This is Robin from the Back Pain Secret Podcast. And today, guys, we're going to talk about honor the small Saatka pain wins in your life. But I'm going to play the intro song. I'm going to be right back, guys, okay? So, here's the important question. How can back pain sufferers like us, who don't want to use prescription drugs or go through surgery, feed our back pain? How do we live our daily lives in a way that allows us to go to work, take care of our families, enjoy life, and still manage our back pain? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Robin Wakem, and welcome to Back Pain Secrets. Okay, guys, I'm back, and today's topic is honor the small Saatka pain wins in your life. And it's a very complicated uh, line there, right? Okay, but it's so, so important that you do this, okay? And as always, I have a patient story for you guys, okay? So today's patient, or it's a made-up name, of course, it's a made-up patient. We can call her Pam, okay? And Pam is about 45 years old. She has a bank job. She has two kids, okay? And she's been suffering from sciatica about 10 years back, uh, since after she actually had her kids Okay, and she has pain in her left uh, back, buttock, leg, down the leg, and all the way down to the foot. Okay, and it's really, really irritating her. Especially, it increases the sciatica pain increases when she's sitting more than like five, ten minutes. When she's standing up, and uh, she's actually experiencing pain when she's lying down as well. Okay. And all this sciatica pain is actually increasing when she does all kinds of exercise, okay? When she's trying to do yoga, she did that for years and you can't do that anymore because that increases her pain. She's also doing like, uh, she liked dancing, going dancing before. That doesn't really work for her anymore, you know, okay? And externally, when you meet Pam, she's a very active woman, you know? She has, she's an active mom. She, she has two boys and she's very active in their life. She's helping them with their homework. She's doing the soccer practices. She's like cleaning. She's doing the, the, the laundry. She's doing all that, you know? And at, at her job, she's also very vibrant, okay? She has a, at her job, she's active and vibrant in, in the bank job during meetings. She's like taking on tasks and she's, slowly slowly and like climbing the the corporate ladder there you know and she's in a few years times she's gonna have like like one of the top jobs in the bank if she continues to do this so she's very very engaged in whatever she's she's doing right but the thing is that she likes to stay fit as well but because of the sciatica pain she's not able to do the exercise or not the amount of exercise she wants to do right so she's incre- increasing her weight a bit as well and that is really really irritating her because she feel she can't really feel like have the clothes she likes to do and she doesn't like this extra weight she's putting on right okay so externally or that's externally but internally no she feels like is this her life now does she need to live with this pain all the time she's also feel like will i never be fit again okay because she's trying to work out but the pain is is uh, hindering her from doing the stuff she wants to do that she needs to do to get fit again okay and she feels like she never she's never getting a good night's sleep growing up with the kids you know the boys are like 10 and 12 now growing up with, with the small kids she was she understood that but right now they are sleeping during the night, but she can't sleep because she's in so much pain. And that really annoys her, you know, because she's get these, these bags underneath her eyes and she just looks tired, okay? And um, also something that's irritating her, which she never be able to be active with her boys again, you know, like playing soccer, doing all that stuff she likes to do. And something that she's really missing, Pam is really missing because of the Satka, is she's not able to go out dancing with her husband, you know, wearing high, wearing high heels, uh, get all dressed up and stuff. She loves to love to do that growing up, but right now she's not able to do that, okay? And that's something that she's really missing in her life. So after after a few months, she was telling me, you know, that uh, the Satka was getting worse and they had some big party at home or something like that. And she needed to clean the entire house, okay? She and her husband and all the kids as well. But stupidly, she lifted a sofa and something popped in her back, okay? And that pop increased her back pain, the pain in her body, in her leg. And she started to take these strong, strong painkillers, you know? And that made her feel feel like she couldn't really think clearly, okay? Her mind was clouded and she also had these stomach problems because of the pills, okay? The sleep was, was getting less and less because she couldn't really go to sleep at all, you know? She was like twisting and turning all night. That was irritating her. And in, internally, she was very feeling very sad and very scared about this, you know, because this was a uh, next level uh, pain that she hadn't experienced before, okay? So, 
she came to me and we had a cu couple of chats about this, you know, and I gave her all the regular stuff, you know, to walk, to stand up at work. I gave her some core stability exercises. Uh, but, but something that, that like struck me when I was talking to her that, that she was very hard on herself and she never really celebrated all these small wins she was having, you know, because she was a very active and, and driven woman, but she was always like, never really celebrating the, the small wins and she was hard on herself. So, and I was telling her, you know, if you do not, like, if you do not do uh, what you need to do that, you know, days when you really feel like you're doing a good job, you should be celebrating that, okay? Because like, if, if, if you do a good job or you, you do, you, uh, you like do a good job with your kids or you finish a project or something like that, you need to celebrate that. Even if it's just with a good meal, you know, a good glass of wine with a friend or something like that, you know. So many people out there are like doing awesome stuff, okay, but, but they're not really like celebrating it, you know, and, and they're just like not really acknowledging that they're doing all this good stuff, you know. Because they don't allow themselves to, to to give themselves credit for all the good stuff they're doing, you know. And most people, uh, myself included, you know, so I'm not like pointing fingers. This is something that I have to work with as well. A lot of people, they're, they're walking around, they're waiting for to celebrate the big win, you know, the huge win. But the, the secret is to, to celebrate the small wins, guys, okay? Because if you don't celebrate, start celebrating the small wins, okay, you will eventually never get to the big wins, okay? Okay, and if you get to the big wins, you, you will just say, well, this is the big win, I'm not gonna do anything, okay? But you need to celebrate those small wins during the, the way in order for you to keep the motivation up for the big win, okay? It's very, very important. So, I, I was telling Pam, you know, I, this is kind of a, a little plan, a little trick you can do to start celebrating the small wins in order for you to move forward and enjoy life more, okay? So first off, each week, you need to set a, a time each week, you know, uh, that you actually sit down and think about the small wins that you have had during the weekend, you know. And you need to put this down in your journal, you know. And I'm gonna, not going to say, say, you know, do this, 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 this day and this time because everyone's schedule is different. For me personally, uh, I do it on Sundays, okay. That's when I do it. And, um, like, I sit down and I just, like, go through, you know, what did I do well this week? I think about that, you know. And what did I achieve this week? Okay, and what 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 did I what, what went went what went well during the week? You know, and the good things that happened, you know, that I didn't even anticipate that was going to happen. What what happened there? Okay, what kind of stuff happened that I didn't really know why it was going good? Okay, and I, I enjoy that. Okay, and um, can can I like? It's it's very very. Uh, very important that you sit down and like you actually schedule this down and do it week by week. Most people, what they do, you know, we have these big New Year's resolutions. So we, we uh, like uh, New Year's, we sit down or the day after or the day before and we sit down and we go through the years, some of us do, you know, and we don't really remember the stuff that, we, all the good stuff we did, okay? And we, we do these big New, Re New Year's resolutions. It's not, nothing really happens with them, okay? You look at them once and then, then you know, People forget about them. You need to do it this on a weekly basis. That is the secret, okay? So, also, uh, number two, you know, when you have these wins, you need to feel them in your entire body, okay? So, just don't sit down and put it down in your journal, you know, it's more or less like a checklist. That's not what I'm talking about here, you know? You need to, like, really uh, feel that win that you had, you know, so you can integrate it, okay? And this will actually generate confidence in you, okay? So what you do at this time when you're sitting down and going through all the good stuff that you've been doing, okay? You close your eyes, okay? And you think about something awesome that you did that week, okay? And you really start to try to feel that deep satisfaction in your entire body, you know? Your body, okay? Your body, your mind, and your soul. Everything should feel it, okay? Because doing this will actually help you to connect with, with your internal world, in a, in a much deeper level, and it's gonna really make you feel good about yourself and also make you, uh, make it possible for you to push forward to bigger goals, okay, and bigger wins. And you need to sit down, you need to feel proud over the small things you did, okay? Right now, okay, I'm on Facebook and I'm on, on, uh, on YouTube, okay? I'm proud over that, okay? I'm not very technical, but I got it all hooked up, okay? I'm here, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm saying a few wrong words, 
bits and force, you know, but I'm proud over it. You know, I'm doing it, you know, I'm doing it every morning. So celebrate the small wins, okay? Uh, you see these people, I'm going to go out for a rant here as well, because you see all these people having the phones out, you know, and they're taking these selfish, selfish pictures on themselves, you know, but it's more or less just, just the, the, the outside. They're not going in, you know, everyone's taking pictures on themselves doing stuff, but they're not really sitting down thinking about all the good stuff they're do, doing, okay? So if you're a person that are walking around taking a lot of selfages, you know, I would say like take... Try to take no self, self, selfages during the weekend, okay? Sit down and actually sit down and think about the other good stuff that you're doing for yourself and for other people during the week and see if, if that can make you feel better about yourself, okay? Number three, guys, you need to share those wins, those small wins, you know? And there are so many people, so many awesome people that are doing so much good stuff during the week, during the year, during the month, you know? But like... For example, I have loads of people in here that have actually fixed their sciatica because they're doing, doing their job, you know. They're walking, they're standing up, and they're doing changes in, in their lives. Uh, I meet people that have, like, like beaten cancer or have cured, like, gotten better from cancer. Uh, I, I, you meet people that go for big promotions and they get them, you know. Or they j might just start their own company, you know. But when, you, when they say that, you know, they, they, they're not... They're not really thinking about it's a big deal, but it is a big deal, okay? And you need to celebrate that, okay? It's so important that when you share your wins in your life, you do it with enthusiasm, okay? You need to do it with enthusiasm. And depending on where you live in the world, you know, a lot of times uh, in, few, <laughs> in few cultures, you know, it, it, it's more or less like they feel like you're bragging. But I'm not, I'm not talking about bragging because if you do it with enthusiasm, you also give that other person permission to feel proud over the stuff they they've done okay so it's a win-win okay so it's very very important that whenever whenever you share, share your wins with other people you know do it with enthusiasm and not just like like you're almost ashamed for it you know it's very very bad if you try to minimize yourself around other people okay it's not, it's not going to turn out well Okay, guys, that's what I had for you to today. It was short and was sweet, okay? And guys, remember, just one step away from healing your back pain. Bye-bye. Want more back pain secrets? Then go ahead and get your free copy of my best-selling book, Back Pain Secrets, at backpainsecrets.com. Inside this book, you will find my top secrets to healing your back pain without prescription drugs or surgery that have helped thousands of other people just like you.